Hey guys, this is Richard from AndroidCentral.com and today we're taking a very quick look at a new launcher which has made it into the Google Play Store. Uh, this is My Home. It's the My UI uh, launcher which has made it out as a standalone application in both a gingerbread and ice cream sandwich forms. So, despite the fact that the apps are pretty much the same, we're still going to take a look at both of them anyway. So, jumping straight in to the gingerbread version, you'll notice that the uh, the, the comments and sort of sometimes criticisms that it looks a little bit too much like the iPhone is pretty well founded. You've got many screens, all your applications are on the screens. There is no app draw, which is a bit disappointing, but it's how it works. It's a unique take on Android. Um, you know, it's it's not for everybody. The there is one thing to point out with this one: uh, the odd placings of the clock and search widgets that you can see there I believe aren't to do with the application they are to do with the funky resolution of this particular phone um, but that's another story for another day so we'll jump into the launcher settings a little bit boring there's not really much to go on nothing out of the ordinary uh, we've got transition effects wallpaper wallpaper settings uh, high quality graphics, you can turn that on, that's always a good thing to have on. It's a default launcher. You can use the My Home Locker as well, which is available separately in the Play Store as a standalone application, but is baked into My Home, which is quite nice. Uh, widgets, add them in the same way, I think it looks a lot nicer. A um, little bit of lag there when flicking between the home screens. Not sure whether this is because this is a an Intel phone and it's not playing nice or whether it's just down to the app itself but much smoother down the bottom my biggest criticism is to add folders you have to drag one from the widget drawer you can't just drag and drop and create a folder like that it just won't have it so you have to do it that way which is no biggie but you know it's very colourful it's very very simple you can customise what's on the dock at the bottom if I can drag things off you can put your own applications on there's custom icons for some of the stock applications that are on the phone but I mean you know it's 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 nice to look at uh, it just doesn't do anything for me personally so we'll take the gingerbread version away now and we will move in on the ice cream sandwich version. So, let's see, I've got my locker enabled as well. Um, and I think it, it looks better on ice cream sandwich. It's a, I always think it's a little bit more colourful. Um, it might just be, you know, my eyes, or it might just be down to the phone. But, to me, to do that, you know, it looks basically the same. You can drag and drop to create folders. which is how it should be. Widgets added in exactly the same way. And here it's much, much smoother. Um, but basically that's all there is to it. It is very iPhone-y. Um, but it's you know it's nice, it's simple, and it does offer something a little bit different. Both versions are available in the Google Play Store right now and they're both free of charge. Thanks for